Good morning! This is Let Me in the Library, I'm Rachel, and today is my birthday, so I'm gonna take you with me on my birthday. Um, to be honest, I'm probably not gonna be vlogging, like, properly that much today, but I thought it might be fun to just, uh, take you along for the ride. Um, I really honestly don't have that many plans for today. I, um, you know, have been up since, like, 9.30 or something. Honestly, did not get that much sleep last night. But yesterday I was on the Jade War live show um, with Christine from the Roomies Digest and very um, sweetly at midnight they all like stopped in the chat and Christine was like stop and then saying happy birthday. So it was very nice. I got to start off my birthday with one of my best friends um, chatting with her like into the night until like basically three or four o'clock in the morning. Um, and got a little bit of stuff ready for the upcoming Studio Ghibli readathon that I'm very excited for. Um, and then this morning, woke up and um, answered some, you know, like very nice, sweet birthday messages and whatnot. And um, obviously, got ready. I did not wake up like this. Shocker. Um, <laughs> peeling back the curtain for you for a second here. Um, but yeah, so I originally planned to do something nice outside. I really like to go out on my birthday and just like go outside and be around nature. However, um, New Jersey is currently going through a horrible heat wave. It is literally 101 degrees and it's been in like the super, super, super high 90s every single day for the last week nearly. And it's going to be that way for almost the next rest of the week. So uh, maybe not the best idea. Uh, it's literally like 90 something degrees at eight o'clock in the morning and then 90 something until nearly 1 a.m. Um, it's really not good. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing instead, but I think we are going to go out to eat and um, hopefully I have a scavenger hunt waiting for me because I think I was promised something like that. So I'm excited. Those are the things that I really enjoy. I love, love, love doing like scavenger hunts, escape rooms, stuff like that. The puzzles, obviously, you know me, um, that's the stuff that I like. So um, I may have made a special request. I know that seems like so conceited or whatever, but like to be honest, I literally make scavenger hunts and escape room type of things for like every little special occasion in this house. So do I deserve it? Am I the main character? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's my birthday. I'm excited about it. I'm going to go have some coffee with a little bit of oat milk. Um, I'm going to try with Chobani vanilla oat milk, which I went out and bought because I know Christine said that that's supposed to be the best one. I don't know if I agree, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go try that have a great rest of my day and I'll take it with me and we'll just see what happens for the rest of the day. Okay, bye!
Happy birthday to you, Rochelle. Happy birthday to you. Hey, I found a clue. A clue, a clue. Oh, is this just me living my Blue's Clues fantasy as an adult? Is that what I am? When I want to have scones, I need to get some bones. No. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is wrong. This is apparently wrong. This one doesn't rhyme. Can't, you can't see me. Oh, man, I'm having trouble here. Okay, the answer, I think, is T. Okay, so now I have to go find some tea. Oh, boy. <laughs> It says, lots of games to play without a hitch. You just have to flip the switch. Is it the switch? This one? So the answer is switch. However, this is not where the location is because mom doesn't know what a switch is. Very bold of you to choose a thing that you don't actually know. Okay, is this a switch to you? Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Found it, found it, found it. I am afraid of dinosaurs. That's me. If a real one was chasing me, I would be dead. That has a clue on her collar, but it's not time yet. Sasha, I'm gonna go. Okay, I figured it out. It's Scared Stiff, which is a game that we have. I'm gonna go find it. Scared Stiff. Here it is. Where is the clue? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. When it's time to eat, put your butt on the seats. Seat. Which would be my seat, right? Hey, it's my seat. Open me up and you will be made in the shade. I'm approaching the umbrella. <sighs> oh, I found it. Okay, I found a clue. Okay. Um, you can see the world without leaving home. I'm such a versatile machine. I can store data onto a USB, scan and receive calls and copy. <laughs> okay, it is the printer. Okay. It makes me groan when dad can't hear. I should have used the chandelier? Megaphone. Okay, anyway. We've got so many things chilling. It's an extra spot so we won't be illin. You wrote this. Aha, mm, okay. Here it is. Okay, when it gets shaggy outside. Shaggy? Take me for a ride. Okay, hot out here. Found the clue. Okay. Okay. Um, I made of many pieces. I was fun to put together and now I am holding your next clue. Wait, I made this. Okay. Okay. I kind of remember how this works now. A new gizmo to make things with flair. To use it, you need lots of air. Okay, my pressure pot, which is here. You found every clue. The circles now spell the gift for you. Apparently, I have to unscramble this, which was not in the instructions, but I'm gonna Did unscramble you get any this. Instructions? It says it spells the gift for you. Mm -hmm. So you'd think it's Thank like you. in order. So, like one, two, three, four, five, but then I come back and all these are out of order, so. Okay. Huh? It's on Sundays. I know. In the woods? No. To the woods. <laughs> I was writing about woods. I thought this is where I had to go. I was like, I have to go in the woods outside and go the find cat. the clue. Okay, chase the cat. Oh boy. I have to chase the cat. I can't find your ticket. <laughs> Sasha. You gave me that idea. Sa <laughs> Sasha, I need that clue. What? Hello. <laughs> Get those eyes. <laughs> What's that? Is that a treat? Do you want a treat? Yeah, you want one? Here it is. That was good, right? How about another one? Sasha. Psst, psst. Psst, 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 psst. 
Okay. Says, oh no, <laughs> I ripped it. Look under your pillow. Looking under my pillow. <gasps> Aha! I oh boy, what a cute little thing. <gasps> Happy 27th birthday, way to love mom, dad, Diana, and Sasha. And it's a pop up. How Which cute is that? And then there's a ticket. Oh boy, Into the Woods. Enjoy Into the Woods on Broadway on August. Seven at three PM. Daddy, good evening. When was the last middle school? That's how someone came to live in our house. So as a quick recap, um, I got this really, really, really delicious Mediterranean food with my mom. I got this like lamb and beef over rice platter. Uh, my mom got like a small chicken dish skewer type of thing platter and it was so good. And uh, we finished watching Business Proposal, which was- I'm um, sorry that I'm shaking so much, but Sasha is like demanding to be patted right now. Can't deny her, even on my birthday. Um, but I'm actually going to come back to you tomorrow to do the little, like, book haul of the stuff that I ended up picking up today. Um, and yeah, um, I will share that with you then. I think I will also probably have a birthday book haul coming up soon because I know that I received some very, very, very nice presents from some friends. So I'm excited to unbox those and open those up and see what arrived in the mail. So yes, um, take it away, future Rachel. Hey, it's the next day and I wanted to share with you, um, some of the gifts that I got from family and also from myself. Uh, when I went to book shopping. So I'll just do this very, very quick haul and we'll wrap up the rest of the video. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I think I'm also still going to have a separate video where I do a birthday book haul because I did receive some packages in the mail, but that is going to be in a separate video from this. So let me first just show you what I ended up picking up. So first off, I went to Barnes & Noble. Um, I don't know who else is going to be excited about this, but for fellow DMs or Dungeon Master, Game Master, D, D fans uh, in general. I did pick up these two books, um, the Game Master's Book of Traps, Puzzles, and Dungeons, and the Game Master's Book of Random Encounters. So uh, I'm really excited about these because this actually has a whole bunch of content in here to help uh, to create these these little things that you can throw into your campaign. Um, not that I really have like a full-fledged campaign yet, but I think this would really help me so much. And they're just so fun to read things like this. Um, they have all the stat blocks, they have a bunch of uh, maps and stuff in here, they have you know, so, 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 so much cool content. Um, some of it you roll on a table and you find some more information here. So it's very cool. I'm very excited about it. So these were gifts um, from my dad that he uh, basically just bought me something that I wanted from Barnes & Noble. And um, then I also ended up going to the library book sale and picked up a few things from there. So first off, I found Moshley, which I'm so excited about. I love this graphic novel. This is such a fun one. This is like if Mob, um, Psycho, 100, the main character in that mob, um, and One Punch Man, the main character in that, Saitama, were like the same person and they went to magic school. So he is like a very punchy guy of few words and everybody else is like, where's this magical school or whatever? And he just like punches through his problems, not in like an aggressive way, but just like he's just so much more powerful than people. Um, and it, this is just such a fun um, little one. So it's, oh my god. Wait a minute. I didn't open this earlier, and this is in French. Damn it. Um, well, it was only $2, and I kind of understand what's happening. That's really upsetting. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't know this was in $2. I didn't even, for one second, I didn't even read the back. It's in French. Oh my god. Anyway, I also picked up, I think this one's in English, um, The Unraveling of Cassie Holmes. Um, I read Daisy Jones and the Six a little while ago, and I thought it was fine, um, but I was not as big of a fan of it as other people for particular reasons with the wrap-up of things. Um, I think if it had ended a little differently in the way I expected, um, more of like a tragic starlet type of story, I would have been really hooked. And I think that this might be the book to deliver that, uh, according to my dear friend Casey, who has read this and enjoyed it. So... I'm looking forward to picking this one up with that in mind. Um, this one I found, honestly, do I know what this is about? Not one bit. Not at all. Um, this is called The Cheese Monkeys, and it just looks 
weird. Um, and anything that looks kind of weird is usually something that I want to pick up. It's peeing off this little cover. Even the inside that's just sort of like, what's up with this book, is like totally unusual. Look at this. Do you see? How am I not supposed to be intrigued? Like, hello? And only two dollars. So I'm willing to take a chance, as you can see from this French manga that I accidentally picked up um, for two dollars. So yeah, that was um, another one that I picked up. I also got, uh, I know somebody will be happy about this, The Winner's Curse. Um, I just randomly saw this right before I checked out of that book sale, and it's in like pretty really good condition, um, like new even. Has deckel edges, we love to see. And um, yeah, I honestly really barely know what this book is about, but I feel like it's gonna be a fun time. And I also picked up Several People Are Typing. Uh, this feels like it's gonna be a spooky dystopia type of story with something to do with technology and uh, sort of like literary fiction in that way. This looks like a dead person. I don't know if this is a, like a commentary on workaholicism or something else. But generally, I think like insidious stories about technology and whatnot are very interesting to me. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, and I also wanted to just show you that I did get a Hemi gouache set. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I randomly saw some things about gouache recently and uh, just decided like this is something that I would really like to get and I ended up uh, receiving it. So this has a bunch of different colors on it. Um, I don't know if I would do any type of painting videos or anything. Let me know if that's something that you would like want to see. Um, but yeah, this comes with a whole bunch of different colors. Um, I'm very excited to paint something with this. I have not painted in years, but I did go to an art camp who was surprised. There were so many talented people. Um, but I would love to like, you know, try it. I don't think I'm going to be great at it, but I think that this would be like a great place to start and practice and um, get going with it. And it's such a very cool, um, unique way of painting and stuff that uh, I think it would be very enjoyable to try out. Um, it's a new little hobby to pick up, not like I have a million already that I am neglecting. But uh, yeah, so that's basically my haul. Um, I feel like it's getting way darker all of a sudden, but I'm about to go on birthday reading sprints uh, with the buds and basically edit this video. So um, that's basically all I have for you today. Thanks for coming along with me uh, to see what's going on on my birthday. I had a lot of fun um, and it was really fun to kind of like commemorate this and have something to look back on and hopefully to uh, just give you a little window into my life and what's been going on. I know I've been kind of silent recently. There are reasons for it um, that I will hopefully be able to share soon, but um, I didn't mean to say that like I have a book deal. It's just like personal stuff. It's whatever. I'm fine. But um, thank you so much for sticking around. And that's it from me. I'm Rachel. This is Let Me in the Library and I'll see you next time. Bye.